Hello guys! Did you know that Konami has recently made a good Fire Attribute card available in Duel Links? Not gonna lie, when I saw it, I thought, Hey, that's pretty good! So we'll try to use it today. You guys probably know it by now, but the card I'm talking about is Grand Maju Da Eza. Free to play problems require free to play solutions. Hi again, guys. Welcome to Chocoffee Guys channel. Today we'll be playing Grand Maju the Aza, which you can get right now by completing Tour Guide Chan's bingo missions, which are pretty easy. Grand Maju the uh, Glenda is a 3 star far attribute fiend type monster that have its attack and defense based on the number of your banished cards times 400. What better way to use a fiend than to pair it with a princess, a castle, and a great wall of text. Here is Glenda and the golden castle of Stromberg. Ta -da! Stromberg has been in Duel Links for a while now, but due to its enormous amount of text, can still bait some players into destroying their own monsters. Its effect is that while on the field, it can special summon one monster from the deck that specifically lists the card Golden Castle of Stromberg. And if you do, you cannot normal summon or set any other monsters for that turn. Also, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can destroy that monster and inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to half of its attack. Also, during your standby phase, you must banish 10 cards from the top of your deck face down. This is not optional, so if your deck doesn't have enough cards to banish, Stromberg will be destroyed. Having 10 banished cards also boosts Glenda to 4000 attack and defense once you summon her later on. Once you have Stromberg on the field, you can then proceed in using its effect to summon Princessin from the deck. Or you can normal summon her from the hand, which then summons Pumpkin Carriage and enables Princessin to attack directly. Pumpkin Carriage, while on the field, can also protect Stromberg by making it untargetable and cannot be destroyed by card effects. Princessin can also equip one glass slippers from the deck when you summon her while Stromberg is on the field. Lastly, when Princessin inflicts damage to your opponent by attacking directly, you can equip glass slippers to another face-up monster on the field. When Glass Leapers is equipped to a fairy monster, in this case Princessin, it gains a thousand attack. But if Glass Slippers is equipped to a non fairy monster, it cannot attack and also loses 1000 attack, which is great for stalling your opponent. Once the equipped monster is destroyed, you can then re-equip glass slippers to a princess in you control. Glyph can be used to search for a strong bird in case you don't have it on hand, or you can summon it to destroy one of your opponent's back row once per turn. Since Glenda and Pumpkin Carriage are level 3 monsters, Psychic Wielder can be special summoned easily which you can then use to get the synchro monsters you need and also destroy one of your opponent's monsters with attack lower than your synchro summoned monster. 
add in lava golem for some added spice and monster removal. And you now have the core of your deck. You can choose the rest of the cards you need depending on your playstyle. You can either add in Kite Roid and Karibos along with Back Row for protection, or you can also go with Chaos Hunter and Lancias. If you're coming across Shiranui's Dark Magician and a lot of Cosmic Cyclones. Completely up to whatever you have available. As for skills, Shadow Game and Destiny Draw are pretty common. Don't be like this guy, memeing with Card of Sanctity and Surprise Presence skill. Wow! I'm sorry that this video is not featuring the new EX structure deck. Are you sure about that? I do have one copy of the deck so I might make a video on it soon. Do you want me to feature a specific deck? Have questions or suggestions for me? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do. Please click on the like button if you like this kind of video and subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos on the channel. Want to get me a cup of coffee or help me with the new structure deck? Check out the link below. Coming up are some replays of the combos you can do with this deck. Let's check it out in action. Hope you enjoyed the video.
Bye, have a great time.